Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the second part of this video. I stated in the video that I thought the person who sent me this had X or uh, Corel 2018, which he does not. He has two thousand or he has X7, so he does not have the smoothing tool. So on your very first contour, you've got these jagged edges, and I would do sections at a time. I would select them all, then right click and turn them into curves. Then let's just zoom in here. And you would want to do this on your first contour. Let's take these two and just see what happens if we delete them. That already looks better. Let's delete these. And you could play around with this for a long time and, and get a little closer. You could, you know, you could bring these in, get rid of that node, bring these in, and it all depends on what you wanted the look to look like. You could actually get rid of that one. You know, and then play around with this and, uh, you know, make it conform to what you want. You know, get rid of that sharp one. You'd want to get rid of all these. I think he's cutting this out. So you'd get rid of all the sharp ones. And then you could bring them around and, and if need be, um, I would turn them to a cusp. We'll right click. Well, we, we didn't hit that one on the curve. There's our problem. But you could... Uh, do anything you want to with it now and just make it, you know, you wouldn't want this flat edge. So maybe let's delete that one and see what happens. And just go through there and there's a lot of nodes. That looks really good, but you want that corner to be a little rounder. So we'll select all the, matter of fact, you can get rid of a couple of these nodes. Select those and right click and turn them into a curve. And then when you get that, you've got a handle. We can let's try deleting that one and just play around. I mean, the the smoothing tool is well worth the money. And I think it started in 2018, and we actually have a little dot right there. We probably need to get rid of in that. But you just want to go through and, and get rid of your jagged edges if you're going to cut this off. I'm not going to use a smooth tool because people that don't have it. But to let's delete that one. Let's take all these, and you could have turned them all in the curve. You could have selected them all. But I'm going to delete these and see what happens. See, that looks, that looks so much better. If you're just trying to conform to this shape, I would get rid of all these, these nodes that are stacked up like this, and they don't show up until you zoom out. You can really see them. They're, they're nodes on top of each other. Uh, that's what Corel is trying to tell you. Let me get back and zoom in there. Where there it was, right there. And let's click on it with this right there. Get rid of the ones on the outside. They're really not going to cause you any problems, but they're not necessary. And like that, let's try getting rid of those. Let's just see if we get rid of all those. That doesn't look half bad. That is a curve. You could get rid of maybe get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. And so you don't have to have the smoothing tool to make it look good. So then once you have it done, and of course we didn't do it all, I would get rid of these nodes and see their lines. They're not cur they're not on curves, so I would select all these and right click and hit curves. And then when you hit these top peaks or whatever, they're gonna be a curve. So let's say we've done the whole thing. And the whole time I had this done, I had this object locked so you couldn't touch it. So now let's go back up to effects, contour. Let's contour it just a little bit, 0 0.04 to the outside. And now it made it smoother. If you had those jagged edges, you're going to get jagged edges. And then you would do like in the other video and break those contours apart. Well, we'll go ahead and do it. Object, break contours apart. Grab that red one and hit delete. That must be, you see down here, you can see two objects on one layer. Go to group, ungroup, and hit that inside one. And hit delete. Turn that into a red hairline so you'll know it'll cut. Anyway, see how this looks so much better than this? Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thanks for watching.